Today, I'm going to show you how you can implement protected routes in Next.js. Now, we are first going to use the Next.js docs here and just go over a conceptual overview of how middleware actually works in Next.js as well as what middleware is. And then we'll actually dive into just a very basic demonstration application of what this actually looks like when writing out the code in your own apps. So first off, protected routes. What I'm talking about when I'm talking about a protected route is like, if I want to go to forward slash blog, but I only want to allow someone to go to that route, if say they are logged in, then I want to protect that route based on that condition. So that is what I'm talking about when I'm saying protected route, preventing someone to going to a certain route in your application based on a certain condition. And one of the most regular conditions for that is whether the user is authenticated or if they're signed into your application. Now, to implement this, there's various ways that you can do this and various ways I have done it in the past. But one way that you can do this in Next.js that I think is actually pretty easy is using middleware. So middleware, it allows you to run code before a request is completed. So middleware, breaking that word down a little bit more is basically software that runs in the middle of a certain process. And in this case, before a request is completed. So a user makes a request to a certain endpoint, but before that request fully completes and resolves, you run some software in the middle of that process, hence middleware. Then based on the incoming request, you can modify the response by rewriting, redirecting, modifying, the request or response headers or responding directly. So in this case, we're going to use middleware to redirect. And for using Next.js middleware, the convention here is that you use a middleware TS or JS file in the root of your application. So it's going to be on the same level as your pages, app, or SRC directory. And in our case, we're going to use the app router. So it's going to be within our app directory. So it's on the very root level. And I'll show you what this looks like when we actually create it within just a demonstration project. And then when you create that middleware file, you basically just need to export a middleware function. It's going to accept a request. And then within this function, this is where you can write your logic to either redirect. In, in our case, that's what we're going to do. Or you can rewrite and do different things like that, mess with the cookies, headers, all that sort of thing. Now, you're also going to see here that middleware has this export cons config, and they have a matcher property on this config. Well, with middleware in Next.js, it has this matching paths concept to where you might necessarily not want to run your middleware on every single route within your application. You may only want to run your middleware on say your blog page or your admin page or something like that. So say you only want to make your admin page a protected route. Well, you can use this matcher to match your admin route. And that's saying, hey, Next.js, I only want you to run this middleware for requests that are at forward slash admin. And in this case, they're doing forward slash about forward slash some other kind of dynamic path here. So you can export a matcher here to basically tell Next.js what routes you want your middleware to run on. All right, and we're, we're gonna do just that here. So let's actually head over to VS Code here and I will be using the theme Winter's Coming. I use this for basically all my videos to keep it straightforward. We're gonna do MPX create hyphen next hyphen app at latest. And I'm going to name this project Middleware Tutorial, but you could just call yours Middleware. And then you can also find this project linked. I'm going to push it to GitHub and it'll be linked in this description below. We're not using TypeScript, no ESLint. We will use Tailwind, but we're not going to do anything with style, so you don't have to. We're not using the SRC. And I would say if I were you, I would not use an SRC either just because that will make it more of a one-to-one -one comparison between what I'm doing and what you're doing because the file structure does matter. And then I am going to use the app router and you should do the same thing. 
and I'm not going to customize the default import alias. So this is going to create the project here. Then within my file system, I'm going to go file, open, and then I'm going to open this project within VS Code. So I've opened this new project here and I'm going to close this kind of welcome page. I'm going to close this warning here. And you can see we just have our basic application here, just a demo, demo Next.js app. When we open the terminal, I'm going to run npm run dev, and it's going to run our development server on localhost 3000. So let's head back to our browser, localhost 3000. I'm going to refresh this for good measure. And we do indeed just have our basic template application here. So now with this in place, what I want to do is let's first create a couple different routes. So let's create a route for blog. And then we'll create just a basic page.jsx file within our blog route. And then I'm going to export a default function blog page. And just in case you're not familiar, when you create a new folder within the app directory and you put a page.js or ts or jsx file within that folder, you're creating a public route. So I'm creating a public route here at forward slash blog. All right. And if I name this admin, it would be at forward slash admin if I created a page.js file within that folder. But we are going to return an h1 that just says blog page. And then let's create another folder within our app directory. And we're going to make this an admin folder. And then we'll add another page.jsx file. And then I'll export a default function called admin page. And then we will return an h1 that just says admin page. So if I go back to my project and I go to forward slash blog, we should see our blog page. And if I go to forward slash admin, we should see our admin page. But what I want to do here is I want to now make this admin route a protected route. And let's just make our admin route a protected route. We'll let them visit the blog even if they're not signed in. But to go to the admin page, they have to be signed in. So I'm going to go back to my home page here. But then what we're going to do is within the root directory here, I'm going to create a new file. And it's going to be middleware.js. So it is on the same level as your next.config.js, your package.json, your you know, tailwind config if you use tailwind, your git ignore. It's on the same level as all those. Same level as your app directory. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to export a function. And it's going to be lowercase, middle, where. It's going to accept a request. And then within this, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to console.log if the middleware is running. And then we will just return. And what we'll return is a next response, importing that from next forward slash server, and then just dot next. So if you're not familiar with this, I will head back to the Next.js docs. And here within this documentation for Next.js here at next response, you can see that the next method, so the next method is useful for middleware. And let me zoom in on this a little bit more as it allows you to return early and continue routing. So it's basically just saying that just complete the request, continue through, don't do anything with this request, just move on as normal. So here, this is basically like not using any middleware at all. It's just saying return the next response. All right. So it's basically just way to short circuit, return, return early, and almost make it like you didn't really do anything at all if you just call this without changing the request headers or something like that. All right. So it's just allowing us to basically see if our middleware is running without actually like manipulating the the response doll here. So I'm going to save this and we will see this within our terminal here as this is going to be running in Node.js. And then if I refresh this page, what you're going to see is I do indeed see that the middleware is running. Now I haven't exported a matcher here, so it's going to be running on every single request for the application. So if I come back and I go to 
forward slash blog. And then I check my console. You see it ran a few more times. And if I go to my admin page, you're going to see it ran a few more times. So we have our middleware running, which is good. It's a good first step. But now this is where we can add a protected route. So essentially, we want some logic that basically says, and let me get some space here. We want to basically just say, if not user, then what do we want to do? Well, we want to redirect them to our sign-in page. And we'll just say our sign-in page is our home page. So to do this, if there's not a user, what we can do is return a next response dot redirect. And then here, we just need to pass in a URL to redirect. So we can pass in a new URL. And this is a built-in function, the URL function to construct a new URL. And then we can pass in the path, just our home path. And then we can pass in our request.url, which is going to be our effectively our original URL or our base URL. So if there's not a user, return this. But as you can see, we're referencing a variable that doesn't exist here. So this would be like if you're using Superbase, which I have tutorials on. You'd say like const user is equal to superbase dot get user, and then you would check if you had an authenticated user here at this point of your application. But of course, we're not hooking up superbase right now. I didn't want this to be like a crazy long tutorial, so we're just gonna say const user, and then we will say you know some truthy value. We'll say logged in. So right now. This is not going to perform a redirect because we technically have a truthy value here for the user. So if I come back, nothing should have changed. So I refresh the page here and nothing changes. But if I send, set this to a falsy value, so an empty string, and I refresh my page, you see I get an error. And I see local is redirected too many times. And the reason that this happened is because I'm currently checking if I don't have a user, which this is a falsy value, so we don't have a user, and it's redirecting me to my homepage. But when it redirects me to my homepage, it's going to rerun this middleware again. And we still don't have a user, so it's going to run this redirect, and it's just in this like infinite loop here, which is crashing our app. So what we need to do here is we need to tell Next.js that we only want to run this middleware on specific routes. So in this case, we can just export const config, and that's going to be an object in which it's going to have a matcher property. And this is where we can either pass just a, a string here, so forward slash admin, saying I only want my middleware to run for my admin route, or if you want it to match multiple paths, then you can pass an array. And then here I can do admin. And then I can also do comma forward slash blog. So here, this should run our middleware on our admin page as well as our blog page. And if there's not a user, redirect them to our home page. So here, let me refresh. I see my home page again. And let's try to go to forward slash admin. You see, it doesn't work. I get redirected here because my user is a falsy value. But now let's make this a truthy value. And then I'll try to go to my forward slash admin page. And it does work because my user is technically truthy now and they are logged in. And I can also go to my blog page. But now, like I said, I only want this to be for my admin page. So if I just remove blog right here and I just pass in forward slash admin, and I rerun this and let's make this a falsy value again. Now what we should see is that I can still go to my blog page here. So I'm refreshing it. And just to show you, blog, enter, all good. I can go to my home page, all good. But if I go to my admin page, it does not let me because it is indeed a protected route. But if I then go make this a truthy value, and then I come back and I go to my admin page now. 
you can see I can do it because it is a truthy value. So that is how you can implement middleware in Next.js to protect your routes. So hopefully this was a helpful tutorial and it gave you a good idea of how middleware works as well as how you can implement this kind of method of protecting your routes in Next.js. So thanks for tuning into this and I will see you in that next one.